So I am super excited today for the voice of the shop because we talk about rebuilding Wall Street, uh, Black Wall Street specifically, uh, but we also got to talk about the youth. So what role do our youth play in actually making sure that our businesses are being built? And uh, this next entrepreneur that I'm going to bring in is an example of you got to start them young. You got to start them young thinking about building a business, thinking about employing others. She is actually the winner of this year's Legacy Award, Young Entrepreneur. She wowed the crowd with her amazing products. She had her pitch together um, and just has done such an amazing job. And she's actually been even growing during the pandemic. So excited to talk to her today and just talk about her products, what she has in store, her great vision, and how can we inspire, inspire the next generation of entrepreneurs. So I'm excited to interview Miss Ava Dorsey today. She is the CEO of Ava's Pet Palace. And we're going to talk to Ava just about, again, all things entrepreneurship, what it means to balance school and business, um, and just how we can all be a little bit better in business. So without further ado, Miss Ava. Hi, thank you so much you? for having me. Oh, yes. I'm excited. It's always so fun to talk to you. You are so <laughs> inspiring. Thank you. So how are you feeling today? I know um, you don't have to worry about school or going to school so much, but I know you've been busy with business, right? Yeah. yeah almost even busier during the pandemic from what I, from what I hear. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like it. Well, so what's been going on? How have you been able to um, get do, get busier when a lot of people are losing business? Um, well, how I became busy, other than making dog treats and um, doing something for Ava's Pet Palace, I've been going outside a lot more, riding my bike, um, playing with um, Pumpkin and Lacey, my cat and dog, my sisters. But overall, I've been making a lot of dog treats and doing a lot of videos and spending a lot of time working on Ava's Pet Palace. I know there's a lot of work to be an entrepreneur, right? So <laughs> let our audience know actually what it is that you do. I see some of your uh, products in the back. So let's see them. Right here, yes. So this is the um, banana, banana mm -hmm. oat bingo, mm -hmm. the cheese please bites. Um, and then the peanutty paw cookies right here. Oh, your packaging one is beautiful coming from a marketing company. Uh, so tell us, what is it that you do and when did you get started at what age? Well, I got started at eight years old. I actually had the idea when I was six, but I was, I, I was, um, my parents decided to kind of take me ser um, more seriously when I was eight. And that's when I officially started making treats, re um, researching recipes. And I started because as I was starting to get older, well, first off, I've always loved animals and had a passion for helping them. And as I started to get older, I was noticing that a lot of the treats we were feeding our animals had many bad ingredients. So I wanted to, I wanted to try and help this by making treats that weren't good for our animals and mm -hmm. they could enjoy it without their owners being worried about what they're feeding their furry friends. Yes. So you started to feel to feel a need to offer a solution. Yeah. Well, that was pretty brilliant of you. Uh, that's why we, we talk about that all the time. Entrepreneurship should always be to fill a void. Whether you feel like you could do it better, faster, cheaper, or just because it hasn't been done before. So you did it for a great reason. So uh, you had to wait all the way to eight years old, you say, to start? Yes, eight years old. But how do you start a business at eight years old? Well, it was first finding something or already knowing that I had a passion for helping animals and that I loved them and being around them. That was the first step, figuring out my passion and what I could do that involved animals. Because with me being eight, um, we didn't really know what there was um, that I could do that involved animals. There weren't that many options, but we decided that pet treats would be the best option for starting Ava's Pet Palace. This is only the beginning for Ava's Pet Palace. Um, I definitely want a lot more for Ava's Pet Palace. And um, yeah. Okay. Tell us, so what was that first sale like? Did Were you at like um, a, like a community event? What was the first sale? Well, it was at a um, small Expo, Expo. It was actually an expo that I still go to every single year. The Christmas, um, Christmas pet 
expo, not this year because of COVID, but I've gone every year since the first one. And that was the first place I sold my treats. Um, I actually have a picture of me holding up my first um, on my Instagram account way back, me holding up my first $20 bill from a sale. And um, I actually started in these little jars and boxes. Mm. <laughs> um, that's how I first started selling my treats. But um, now I've upgraded <laughs> my packaging. But that's it how I started. Good. Coming from a marketing company, it, your packaging looks really good. So um, tell so for the people, for the, the young kids out there, so somebody who might be 10 years old or, you know, a, what would you say to them? Like, I know it's scary, right? You know, how do you start? You know, how, how do, what would you say to them to motivate them to start an idea that they might have? Well, just go for it. Um, make sure that it's something that you love and are passionate about because working on your business will become fun and you'll want to do it more and you'll have you'll have more motivation to keep going with your business. If you start a business and it's not something that you truly want to do and not passionate about, you're not going to want to do it and it's just going to not become fun for you anymore and it should it should be fun. It's definitely going to be a lot of hard work, but there should be fun and not just a I guess you could say drag when you're working on your business and yeah. to um if you hit a bump in the road if it's something something that you truly want to help and do you can move right past that bump because it is worth it it is worth it so how long have you been doing this you started at eight how old are you now i am 13. 13 so you've been in business five years you've been in business longer than a lot of the businesses that we work with so <laughs> Have you learned a lot? Yes, definitely. Um, and actually, mm -hmm. um, well, one of the, a few of the lessons that I've learned along the way was for my treat packaging and um, how to keep the treats the freshest and um, for the longest because when they were first, when I first got into three stores, the first three stores I was going to be in, um, my treats were still not shelf um, shelf like ready. Mm -hmm. They were a bit too um, too soft for, to be on the shelf for a while, and they just weren't being um, cooked enough. The moisture in them was still too much. They had to be they had to be cooked longer. But that changed um, after we started cooking them longer. And um, now they're in 20, about 25 stores nationwide. But wow. that taught me that I need to, um, for any treat that I add, figure out the right way to keep them fresh so they can um, just stay fresh the longest and still be able to have that long shelf life without the preservatives. Yes. So you learn a lot in business, right? Yes. You know, I think that's one of the things that at any age you realize that your product has to always continue to grow and evolve. So you might have started out one way and then you learn, like you said, when you want to get it in stores, oh, I have to switch this recipe up. I have to do some different things to make sure that it lasts longer. So you've been able to adapt. So um, I introduced you and I talked about you being our young entrepreneur of the year. So people <laughs> truly love, love, love to hear your story. Um, you perfected your pitch. I will tell you that you did a great job of really Thank just talking you. about your business, uh, having a vision for growth. Um, so that shows you that you could be prepared at any age because you were really prepared to, to go on stage and really sell your story. So what has it been like since being the Young Entrepreneur of the Year? Well, um, since since the um, since the um, gala, it's been it's been very cool. Um, great. It was very um, cool. Amazing. And um, to go to the gala and just participate, being able to participate in the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award and um, winning, of course, that was very exciting and very grateful. But since then, um, it's business has been great, <laughs> actually. Um, I heard, I heard, I heard you had your best best uh, month ever. So what happened? Yes. So in June, uh, I, I think it was June 6th, um, 7th, 8th, 
about 2,000 orders came in within two days, and that was the most orders I've gotten um, ever, ever, like at, in in um, that time period. You, it went, we went from baking um, a few times a month to having to bake every single day all throughout the summer to fulfill the orders, and my count kind of blew up. Um, I gained 6, 16,000 um well, I, I gained about 15,000 um, new followers. Wow. And, um, I've been doing a lot of interviews since then, um, Instagram Lives, and doing a lot of things since then. It's been um, a great um, experience and definitely um, something that I will look back to. Oh man, I'm having a little social media envy over here, Ava. You, you gained sixteen thousand followers. I don't have sixteen thousand followers total. I, I need to um, get myself together. So in June, we know a lot happened, right? Uh, it was in the middle of the pandemic. Um, we had everything happening with um, like some of the, the civil rights issues and a lot of civil unrest. So what happened? You all got listed, right? You got listed on a bunch of um, by black. Yeah, so um, there was a list. It was just stuff. It was for the list that was going around. It was the same businesses, and I some uh, my business somehow got on that list, and that was that was um, it. From there, it, it was getting passed around a lot by um, many different people. Um, it was it was very cool, um, but it was also you know it was um, sad that from where. It happened, mm -hmm. you know, how um, that with how that kind of happened and how my business blew up. But um, um, it was overall um, pretty cool to see that happen. You know, all all the um, businesses being shared around like that. People paying attention to black businesses more. Yes. And, um, shopping from them more. I know it's showing that black entrepreneurs matter, right? Yes. So tell us about the future, Ava, because you have already done a lot in five years at the young age of 13. I am very, very proud. I thought I started young. I started right out of college, but I was obviously behind. Um, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to start more businesses? Do you want to just take Ava's pet palace on a global level? What do you want to do? Well, um, when I'm older, I still am going to have a passion for helping animals and love animals. I do want Ava's Pet Palace to be a worldwide brand, not just pet treats. I, I still want to have pet treats and be focused on helping pets, um, trying to help people see what they could do to keep their, bet, um, their pets in the best um, um, shape and um, mm -hmm. feed them the best quality food and treats. But I want to have more than just treats um expand Avis pet palace i actually have want to have um some Avis pet palace buildings i actually do a picture of this my business plan kind of when i'm older when i was six when i was first had the idea it was just this palace and it had um it had like animal shelter a vet and just an, a palace for animals i don't have it on me right now but we still have it and um, that's what I want to do when I'm older. I want to help animals and just, <laughs> do, I want to always be around animals and be able to um, um, just, <laughs> I, I just be around them. I Love animals. I'm an animal lover too. I have a dog and a cat. They're both crazy, but you know, I wouldn't trade them in. <laughs> Not Almost too. anything. <laughs> So, uh, so you, you do a lot, your business has grown a lot. Um, let's talk to the parents. I know you have an amazing mom and dad. Uh, they both entrepreneurs as well. So let's talk to the parents. Cause I'm gonna have some parents watching this. So how can, what can you say that your parents did for you and how can parents help children bring their dreams and businesses to life? Well, they they supported me after I told them I wanted to start a business. They um, supported me to help me with the startup, um, getting everything you know started, helping me with all that, um, telling me that 
I can do anything that I set my mind to. And you gave me some very good advice, like um, hard work pays off. And um, like I said earlier, um, if you hit a bump in the road, keep going past that bump because it is worth it. If it's truly something you love and are passionate about doing, um, they just taught me to have fun with my business, but it will be a lot of hard work, but just make sure that it is something that you're passionate about. Yeah, and I think that's great advice. Like you said, they support you. Um, I talk to your mom all the time and she's, you know, always just making sure that she's pushing you and the things that you want to do. Um, but it's also about letting you do, do the work too. So yeah. if you have that idea, you have to be the one to make sure you bring it to life. So do you have anything exciting going on for the holidays? Any big plans for next year? Um, for next year? Well, we are working on some new branding, new logo, um, bags, merchandise. So that's something that's um, happening in the next few weeks, um, st starting next year. But I'm actually going to be having some cool um, holiday sales for Christmas. Um, first um, Black Friday, Christmas. I'm very excited for all of those. Some new pro um, some new, um, not products, but um, bo um, different gift boxes. Mm -hmm. And actually, my dad, who makes um, handmade leather and bags, is going to has made some leashes, some leather leashes, and we're going to start selling those. I'm very excited. They're actually in one of the stores that I'm in now, but I'm super excited to have those on my website. So those are just some new things that we've been working on, but... Um, some other things too that I cannot talk about right now, but I'm very excited to share in mm -hmm. the future. Okay. Okay. Well, we are going to have to be on the lookout. You are a young entrepreneur on the rise doing amazing things. Um, and it sounds like entrepreneurship, like I said, runs in your family. My mom helped me when I first got started too. So it's always good for family to have those shared values and shared things. Uh, I will let you end it with just any final tips for what it takes to be a rock star in business, which you are. You are a true rock star. <laughs> Thank you. Well, some advice that I have to, um, when you're first starting your business, something I forgot to mention earlier is to try to take 20 to 25 minutes a day working on something for your business, because it may seem like um, a little bit of time that day, but it's going to add up the weeks, months, and um, at the end, you'll see how much progress you've made working on your business, and um, it definitely will help, and to just go for it. <laughs> just go for I it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Ava, I see a book in your future. You should be writing a book on how other young entrepreneurs can start and be a rock star in business, because that's what you are. You have mastered. I've been doing this a long time. Um, and it's not just because of your age, but to perfect your progress and, and, and work with manufacturers and get your packaging right and make sure that you're promoting. It takes a lot of work and a lot of different things to really work on to constantly improve your business. So you deserve all the all the followers, all the love. And I definitely just wish you the best. I'm very proud that you Thank won. You. you know, you were truly, you know, you were prepared for it. You know, you didn't take it for granted. You took it very serious. I let everybody know. I saw Ava working, studying, practicing her pitch. Um, and you and that's what business is. Business is never taken for granted that you're going to win. You always work for it. You always keep perfecting it and you keep improving it. And when it's ready for you, it's going to be there. And you're going to and you're going to bring home the win as you did. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I have Ava's website listed. We want to make sure that we um, continue to blow up her website and her store and purchase the products. It's avaspetpalace.com. And Ava, I'll let you highlight again just some of the products. We talked about or organic dog treats, um, but just kind of outline all the products so people can know what they can get. If they love their pet, what can they get from Ava's Pet Palace? Well, I currently sell four different treats for dogs and one cat treat. I want to add more soon, but just one for now. So like I showed earlier, um, the three flavors of 
um, organic and all natural treats, peanut butter, banana, and cheese, and then my salmon snacks. And then for the cat treats, they're also salmon snacks. And then um, I actually do have a new product that kind of new, my treat dispenser teas. They're available in pink, gray, and white, so you can go check those out, too. And um, for now, that is everything that I sell, but um, like I said, there will be some new things coming soon. Okay. Well, we will be ready for it. Thank you, Ava. Have a good <laughs> evening, and try to get some fun in while you work over this holiday. Okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya.